Hello and welcome back to part two of this lesson. So hopefully you have completed page two of your activity packet. If you have not, please go back and fill that out now. Um, but we're going to move on. So hopefully you have a blank piece of paper out and either some crayons or some markers or even a pen or pencil will work. Just something to write with. So if you do not have a marker or a crayon or a piece of paper, please go and do that now and you can pause this video. Uh, but we're going to move on. So before we use our paper and our crayon or marker, um, I want to remind you that one way we become happy according to the Bible story we just read from Jesus is that we are pure of heart and we try our best to avoid sin. So does anybody know what we can do when we sin? Does anybody know? You might have just done it. That's right. You can go and receive the sacrament of reconciliation, which you all have done by now, which is great. All right. So I'm going to have you draw a line down the middle of your page. So I'm going to draw my line and then I'll show you. You can probably draw it way better than me, but there's my line. So you can draw it this way or this way. It doesn't matter which way. All right, so draw your line. And then I want you to think of a time that you acted in a way that did not show purity of heart. So a time when you sinned. I want you to think about that for just a minute. And while you're thinking about that, I want you to write the word sin on one half of the piece of paper. So think about what you did that a time when you sinned and write the word sin on one half. Sin is spelled S-I-N, sin. All right. So if you need a few moments to do that, please pause this video. If not, we'll move on. So what did you learn from that experience? Just think about what you learned. So maybe you learned that you're not going to do that again. Maybe you learned that you shouldn't act that way. Maybe you learned that when you did that, you kind of felt bad. And so you don't want to do that again. Or maybe you hurt, you learned that you know, you hurt someone's feelings and it's not, it's not fun to hurt someone's feelings. So you really don't want to do that again. Maybe that was what you learned, but think about what you learned from that time when you sinned. And I want you to learn what you wrote, or I want you to write what you learned on the other half of the paper. So write what, what you learned on the other half of the paper, or you can draw it. That's fine too. So I'm going to write mine. So on one side you should have sin. And on the other side, you should write what you learned from that time that you sinned. So I learned that I shouldn't act that way. So if you need some time to finish this, please pause this video now and feel free to finish that. But if not, we'll just move on. So now that you have those two columns filled, I want you to tear your piece of paper in half along this line that you drew. So it's okay if it's not perfect, but you can tear that in half or cut it in half, whatever you want. So I'm going to tear mine in half. All right. So if you need a few moments to 
few some extra time to finish writing and tear your paper in half along the line, please pause this video and feel free to do that. Um, but after you've done that, you should have two pieces of paper, right? So one side that says sin and one side that has what you learned. All right. So now what I want you to do is um, I want you to crumple up this side, the sin side. So this is how you felt when you sinned. So this was the not very good side, right? All right, so I want you to crumple this side up into a ball like it's trash. Hopefully you can do that. And then wherever you are, throw that part away. All right, so I have my can over there and I'm going to throw mine away. I didn't make it, but hopefully you can make it. If we were in class together right now, that's what we would do is we'd, we'd try and throw it in the, in the trash can. All right, so if you need a minute to do that, please pause this video and go do that. So, but we'll move on if you're done. So this activity is a symbol for how God forgives our sins. And we are given the gift of peace because our sins are forgiven. And what remains with us is that lesson of what we learned from our sin and the desire to not sin again, right? So we threw the sin away because we, you know, God forgives us through the sacrament of reconciliation and we're left with no sin, which is really nice. But we take with us what we learned, right? We should always learn something from our experiences and we take this with us so that hopefully we won't do that again. So when we ask for forgiveness in our hearts and through the sacrament of reconciliation, we it leads to purity of heart and true happiness. So that's one of the ways that, that Jesus says that we can be truly happy is when our sins are forgiven. And I would definitely agree with that, wouldn't you? It feels so much better when you don't, you're not carrying your sins around with you. You just threw it away. All right, so does anybody remember the four main parts of the Mass from last, the last video? Can you say it out loud if you remember? It's kind of a hard one, but good job if you got it. So the first part is the introductory rites. The second part is the liturgy of the word, where we hear from the Bible. The third part is the liturgy of the Eucharist, where we have the Eucharistic prayer and we receive the Eucharist, and you, you will do that. And the fourth part, are the concluding rites, so the closing prayer. So during the introductory rites, we're going to go back to the first part right now. During the introductory rites, we pray for God's forgiveness in the penitential act. And the penitential act gives us a chance to say that we are sorry for our sins and the times that we have hurt our friendship with God and with others. And during the penitential act, we promise God in our hearts that we will try to do better. So usually if Deacon Mark or Deacon Dave are at mass with father, they will say the penitential act um, instead of father. So watch out for that the next time you're at mass. If Deacon's there, he's the one who's, who says that, okay? So can you think of a reason why we might pray a prayer for forgiveness at the beginning of Mass. Can you think of a reason why we might do that? It's kind of a tricky one. And it's because when we receive the Eucharist, which is later in the Mass, we want to be in a state of friendship with God. And this prayer helps us prepare to listen to the Bible readings and to receive the Eucharist. So, one possibility of what the penitential act might sound like, um, the deacons might say, Lord, have mercy. 
and then Christ have mercy, and then Lord have mercy. So do you guys kind of remember that? Maybe you, maybe you do, maybe you don't. If you don't, look, definitely pay attention for that the next time you're at Mass. When we receive the Eucharist, we are forgiven of our less serious sins or our venial sins that weaken our relationship with God. But receiving the Eucharist helps us to resist those mortal sins or those serious sins that separate us from God. It's really, really wonderful. I think it's one of the greatest gifts that Jesus has given us um, is, is the Eucharist. You know, it's, it forgives us of our less serious sins and it helps us to not commit mortal sins, which are those serious sins. <clears throat> All right. So a couple of questions about what I just talked about. Can anybody tell me why we pray for forgiveness in the beginning of Mass? Yep, great job. It's because it helps us prepare to listen to the Bible passages and it helps us become ready to receive the Eucharist. Very good. And what are some of the words that we say during the penitential act at Mass? This is a hard one. But we say, Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. All right. So at this time, hopefully you still have your activity packet out. Um, if not, please turn to page three of your activity packet that looks like this. And I would ask you to please complete that activity now. So please do that now and I'll see you in the next video.